you know, the Pharaoh's headdress. I mean, whatever inspired them to wear a headdress, it comes from the forehead up over the head and then around the side of the head and then comes, it's like cloth and part of it is down here over the shoulders and then the cloth goes to the back. But the interesting thing about the cloth is that it has yellow and dark stripes. So all along here are these stripes, dark and bright, dark and bright, and all the way down. It had us these rays coming out of it. Plus, right here on the forehead is a serpent, a uraeus serpent, meaning a serpent that is raised up like this. So this is on the forehead of the um, pharaoh's headdress. They had this single serpent on their forehead. So what would it ever make somebody wear that kind of headdress? I mean, nowadays, our kings and queens, they wear crowns with jewels on them, right? So what are these pharaohs doing wearing this cloth with these stripes and a serpent. Well, it doesn't make any sense, except that I went to a hypnotherapist for past life regression and had memories of my time at the beginning of Egypt, at the beginning, actually, of Atlantis. I mean, we're talking hundreds of thousands of years ago, maybe millions of years ago. And the interesting thing is, in my past life regressions, I was a extraterrestrial from Arcturus, and I was a light being. So I was a circular being, like a sun that glow. And interestingly enough, in the pharaoh's tombs, on the paintings on the walls of the tombs, they had uh, pictures of people there with this sort of glowing ball on top of their head. Archaeologists, well, say that that's a sun disk. But from my memory, that was the light beam. Because in my past life regression, I called myself a goddess. And the reason I was a goddess was because I knew that I was a light being. Most people no longer knew they were light beings. And I could also separate the light being out of my body to just be a floating light, like this, a floating circle. And in fact, one of my scariest memories of Atlantis was when the light being, I on purpose took the light being out of the body that I was in, and I fell into the mouth of a serpent. So say this is the mouth of the serpent, and the light being, this round light being, fell into the mouth of the serpent, and the serpent was sort of attached to the ground, and then I was flying through space. And it got me to safety lands in Egypt, because Atlantis was breaking up. There were huge earthquakes, the land was shifting like waves. You could see the land in the distance moving the way a wave moves. The land was going up and down and up and down, and I was in this tower with this big crystal, and I knew that the tower was going to go over, and it was time for me to let my body go. The body would die, and I would, as a light being, come out and I fell into the serpent's mouth and I flew through space. So let's get back to the pharaoh's headdress now. And you see the pharaoh's headdress has these stripes. Well, I think those stripes represent the light being. Those are the rays of the light being. So by wearing a headdress like that, the pharaoh is proclaiming that he is descended from the gods and goddesses of Atlantis. And 
the serpent on his forehead represents how since he's descended from these gods and goddesses who were light beings, that they had the ability to transport by falling into a serpent's mouth, a serpent that is raised up a Uraeus type of serpent. So it makes me wonder when I see that Pharaoh's headdress, knowing that there are other images of gods and goddesses paintings on the walls of Pharaoh's tombs with these circles above them. I go, I know what that circle is based on my aesthetic memories. That means that they were a light being and still could take their light being self out of the physical body. Now, interestingly, nowadays we are still a light being and the light being is in our physical body, but now we can't get that light being out, except when we die, then the light being is free. And of course, some religions call it the soul. But in Atlantis, we were not so tightly held by the physical and could actually separate out. And then, as I said, my experience was I fell into the serpent's mouth, was flying through space, and then in the safety lands, I could go into another human body. We were building the pyramids at that time, except that it was surrounded by water, not desert, as they are now. And my assumption is that Atlanteans traveled to Yucatan because think, there's the Atlantic Ocean in the middle. So here's where Atlantis is. So it made sense that Atlanteans would have traveled to Yucatan, so one side, and so that's Kukulkan, the feathered serpent, and the serpent with the wings and Egypt's on the other. Hello, hello, hello. It's Carol Ann Chapman, and I've written about my experiences in my book, When We Were Gods, which is a chronicle of my memories of Atlant. Great talking with you. See you soon. To Lou. Bye-bye. For more stories, click on the link below.